everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shoshi and welcome to my crazy little Shoshi land. So if you followed me on Instagram or Twitter, you know that I have been in and out of the hospital. I was just released from the hospital last week and I have been hospitalized nine times since August of 2013. And so I decided to do a bit of a kitschy haul to sort of mock my hospitalizations, I guess. I don't know if mock's the right word, but make them a more of an, a, a light sort of, bring them in more, more in a light vein instead of a depressing type situation. So I am going to do, I think it's one of the first, if not the first, a hospital haul. So when you go in the hospital, I know it's weird, but whatever. So when you go in the hospital, you always get things that are given to you and through the hospitalizations. I've built up some of this stuff that I'm not going to have to buy for a while. So I thought, what the hell? People haul weird crap on YouTube and I'm going to haul this. So the first thing that you tend to get is this lovely little bucket usually for barfing in. Um, I like to keep these because they're fabulous for organizing stuff. They're great for organizing um, makeup. They're great for organizing to put your socks in, your bras. They're actually really, really convenient. I think I'm looking. I have two or three of these. This is the only pink one. I have some gray ones from a different hospital. Um, so yeah, if you're in the hospital and you haven't puked in these things, take them home. They're great for organizing. So the next thing that I have a ridiculous amount of, and these aren't even open because I have so many, are hospital socks. So mine are red and mine are always red because I've pretty much been listed as a fall precaution and it's pretty standard that um, if you're a fall precaution they give you red so when you're walking around you just scream I may fall catch me so I've got a ton of red ones I freaking love these things I have some taupe ones as well but I love these because as you can see they're just socks they're just socks but they've got a texture to them so when you walk they create like a non-slip grip and they're freaking comfortable and they keep your feet really warm and you don't slip so if you don't want to wear full-on slippers but you want to keep your tootsies warm um, and you've been in the hospital you know someone who's been in the hospital you have access hospital socks are great so I think I have like six pairs of red ones, a pair of turquoise ones, and like two pairs of taupe ones because I just freaking love them. I give them to my roommate too sometimes because he likes them as well. So moving on into my little happy little basket of items. They, depending on the hospital, um, not I've been admitted to three different hospitals over these nine hospitalizations. A majority of them have been at one hospital and this particular hospital um, does provide this and that is a thing of baby powder. It does not seem like the most thing that you would use in the hospital, but when you are not able to take a shower, they give you these wipes that also sterilize your body and clean you. It actually feels like you've taken a shower, but it's a great way to keep yourself dry, especially if you are having issues sweating, which I've had in relation to some of my health issues, and I just love baby powder. I've got like four of these things so I don't need baby powder for a while because I still have freaking a big one that I bought a while ago. They also give you usually some sort of mouthwash. This is sparkle fresh and I think it's just a mint flavor. Um, I like these because they're great for traveling, guys. These, these products are usually all travel size, so if you travel a lot, this is just a great thing to bring. It's mouthwash. Pop it in your bag, your purse, and there you go. You've got mouthwash to go. Love it. 
The other thing in that, oh, I have two in this one. I'll just show you one. And they call it, they call it skin conditioner, otherwise known as lotion. Uh, lotion. I don't know what lotion is. Let's try that again. Otherwise known as lotion, body lotion, not facial lotion, though it is usually dermatologist recommended. Fragrance free, softs and moisturizes. It's not as good as the Nivea that I've shown you in a previous video. But if you're in the hospital, it's great. And again, it's this convenient little size, so you can pop it in your purse, you can travel with it. If you don't like the lotion that's in it, you can empty it out and refill it. It's just really convenient. The next thing that I have, oh, this is a different mouthwash. This is a different mouthwash from a different hospital. Um, so this one is yellow. This one's a bit bigger than the other one, so it's not quite as travel friendly as you can tell. But if you were going sort of on a weekend trip or you run out of mouthwash or something like that, it is definitely convenient. This is the minty fresh flavor, even though it looks like pee. It looks like pee, doesn't it? Ew, gross. It's not pee, I promise. It just looks like pee. Um, so again, just sort of convenient to have if you're um, going somewhere overnight, if you leave stuff at your boyfriend's house or something like that, it's just sort of a convenient thing to have. The other thing that they give you is always toothpaste, sometimes it's fluoride toothpaste, sometimes it's a sparkle fresh. Again, it's a convenient little travel tube, so I keep it for that reason. Um, I have a smaller one that I keep in my purse that sometimes I'll use when I need to brush my teeth. Um, and I love it because it's convenient and small. And, um, and actually it works really well. You wouldn't think so, but they actually work really well. This next thing is, believe it or not, it's Vaseline. Now, only one hospital I've been in has actually given me this, but the reason that I like it is, again, it's travel size, and because it's in a tube, it's a lot easier to use than some of the little ones that you buy at the store. Um, and you've got to dip your finger in. This is just easier to use. You can control the amount that you get out. You get out of the tube, and it's just Vaseline. So, and Vaseline can be expensive. So, definitely keep that. I think I've got a couple of those as well. Um, the other thing. Oh, that's medicine. Y'all don't need to see the medicine. Um, the other thing that they do usually give you is some sort of deodorant type bar of soap. So if you just wash on your arms or you're washing your hands or um, something like that, you can bring that. This is Med Spa deodorant, bo deo deodorant, deodorant, that's, don't know what language that is, deodorant bar soap. And it just looks like this. Again, it's a convenient little thing. Um, to have, especially if you just open it and you put it in a guest bathroom or you have a guest in town and they want a, their own bar soap because I just don't like sharing bar soap. I just kind of think it's a gross, it's just me. I, if you do it, I, kudos to you, I just can't do it. So I like being able to have this and I just pop it in there. Um, this one is actually, um, soft enough or gentle enough to use on your face as well. Um, whenever I go to the hospital, I, I tend to usually bring a moisturizer with me, my own lotion with me, um, a facial moisturizer, but I just said that. Try again. Usually when I go to the hospital, I bring with me my own facial moisturizer and my own face wash. Um, but if I forget for any reason, then these little things will do in a pinch until you are discharged or someone can bring those items to you. And the final thing that you get in our little happy bucket of surprises is you always get a box of tissues. And look, the tissues are just tissues. These are great for splitting apart when you need to use them for makeup or um, you can use it to put your powder on if you take apart, the, it's a two ply, so if you take apart make it one ply, you can actually um, put it over and then powder over it and it gets through without getting too cakey looking. It's just tissue. If you run out of tissue, it's good to have. It's not the softest tissue, it's not puffs, but look people, it's a tissue. So. 
And, and the thing about these items, guys, is um, the reason I bring them home is because once they... Um, give them to the patient they're just gonna throw them away so if you're gonna be able to utilize these products at home you might as well instead of wasting them and the other thing that I bring home and I actually bought a box of these because I fell in love with this tea in the hospital um, it's an herbal caffeine free all natural tea which I'm not allowed to have caffeine which makes it even better it's by Bigelow and it's called sweet dreams and it's a really awesome tea Tea. It's a blend of chamomile and mint. I'm not usually a huge fan of mint tea, but this mix of the chamomile and the mint, it's just an awesome blend. You squeeze in a bit of honey and let it just seep into the water for a while and it's great. So, um, so I bought a box because I lacked it so much. So that is it for my little weird kitschy hospital haul. Let me know what you thought of this. Was this completely strange? Did you think it was amusing? Did it help you by any means of what they do with the products, what you can do with them at home? Let me know. Just thought I'd do it see, you know, to be entertaining and, and show you some of the things that you do get when you are in the hospital and how you can utilize them outside of the hospital. It's sometimes hard to separate those two. So thanks for stopping by my channel. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm Shoshi underscore TV and my Twitter is Shoshi TV. I will put it in the description bar below. Thank you for watching and thank you for stopping by my crazy little show she land. I'll see you guys next time.